Hey Magical Sparks, welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my process when it comes to drawing faces. Keep in mind there's like no right or wrong way to draw faces in my opinion and your limit is your creativity but this is just going to be me explaining my process and how I like to go about things just for anyone who might be interested. Also I would like to say that my art style is changing very much so some things might not look completely same in this video to my art style like two months ago which is totally fine because i'm also on my art journey and art styles changing is completely normal anyways with that let's get into this video so today i'm pretty much going to be trying to talk in real time and try to show you guys my process i will edit out some parts that are like kind of boring or unnecessary but most of it is going to hopefully go quite smoothly i'm not sure i haven't done the editing yet but i guess we'll find out Okay, so starting it off, I usually when it comes to faces, I like to draw a circle. Um, you don't have to draw a circle, you can just go ahead and start drawing the eyes. But the reason why I like to draw a circle is because it kind of just helps me to figure out where I want to place the head in a way. And over time, I've kind of come to use the circle differently. And I used to like use it as just a rough base and I used to draw the chin here. Nowadays, what I do is I use this just to kind of mark out the top of the head. And then I like to draw one line going down and then I put the chin here approximately and this line is approximately like 60% of it fits in the circle and about 40% of it comes out but again feel free to like elongate it or kind of shorten it depending on your art style and how you want things to look because guys this is a judgment free zone and I want everyone to feel comfortable no matter what kind of art style you have and no matter what kind of process you have Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just going to like put a line here just to show that's where the chin goes. Um, and then from here, I like to think of this as where the ears go, typically. And I like to draw like a little line coming out. And we'll erase the ears for now because that's not how I want the ears to look. <laughs> we'll draw a little line coming this way and just bring it down back. And depending on the face shape, just like work on this part. So I want to make the face kind of like an oval kind of shape in a way for this specific face. So I'm just going to like do a little line here to mark out where the jaw might be. And then just kind of bring it down and join it with the chin. And same thing on this side. So coming down, little line and join. And that's pretty much it. I think I'll just zoom in a bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing properly. Okay, I feel like this might be easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. Okay, so feel free to change anything up again if you don't like it. Um, I think I want to just bring the chin a little bit higher for this face. So I'm just going to do that. Again, feel free to erase. Um, erasing is something that I do a lot. I just don't show it in my videos because like, the camera shakes every time I erase. Like literally it goes like this. And that's a bit annoying, but it is something that I do do and it is completely normal and part of the process. Okay, I kind of like the shape. It's not oval, but I kind of like the roundness of it. I think it's really cute. So the way I draw the neck, it's not like completely proportional to like how a normal human neck would look. Um, I just kind of draw it depending on how I just want the character to look. So sometimes it might not make sense, like the way that I draw like really small necks, but Again, it's, I guess it's just like a stylistic choice. So yeah, again, up to you. I mean, that doesn't look too bad, but again, like in real life, I think the neck would like probably come out a bit more, probably. Um, and now I'm just gonna draw the ears. I draw ears differently each time, but today I'm gonna draw it like this. Also, I still don't know where to draw ears. I'm still learning that, but again, I'm just explaining as much of my process as I can for now, even though a lot of it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> And I always like to add like a bit of a shadow near the neck. It's something that I've done for quite a long time because I just like how this bold kind of shading just adds a really cool effect to the face. And now it's time for the eyes. So I kind of just like roughly, I do it differently each time, but I'm going to do it differently today. I go ahead and I just like draw an arch and then I draw a second arch like that. And then I just like look at it from a distance and I think to myself like does it make sense but I move it a bit more this way that way and then I kind of just decide um, I think with this one I might need to just slightly move this one that way a bit um, and now there's like a bit of distance here but you know what it's completely fine because the thing is in reality no one's face is like completely 100% symmetric and I think that's what makes everyone beautiful the fact that our faces have like this uniqueness about them 
And even when it comes to art, you don't have to make your art like 100% symmetric and perfect. Like, just like embracing those little differences, those little things that make us unique, it's gonna make your art look so much more prettier. And that's something I've come to learn over time because even me initially as a little kid, I thought that I had to make everything perfect and symmetric, but you know what, I don't. <laughs> the more unique, the more beautiful and just wonderful. Okay, so as you can tell, this arch is kind of like gone up. This one's kind of gone down. I might just fix that up just a little bit. Okay, that's not too bad. And now I just, I just want to add a bit of like a distance between this just a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. And now I just like to go ahead and draw like a little kind of line here. And then we'll draw in the eyes. I like to draw the eyes looking in one direction. I feel like that's really cute. I don't know why. It's also just easier. <laughs> so we'll have her looking all the way up there to the right. That's pretty much that. And now let's go ahead and draw the eyelid. So when it comes to the eyelid, I do like to stylize it just a little bit. So instead of like drawing it like this, like this, for example, what I like to do is I like to kind of Sometimes <laughs> I like to make it a bit more unique like I kind of do this and then I do this And I do this and this There's just something about it that I like. I don't know what it is But I mean it doesn't really make a big difference because the eyelid will just be the eyelid will stay the eyelid But I kind of like it and now let's draw the eyelashes My favorite number of eyelashes differs with each drawing I make but today I feel like going with the number four and now Let's just add a bit of shading here because why not? And we'll add the extra shading afterwards. Right now, I just want to make sure the features are kind of defined. And for the nose, I like to go about it by just drawing a circle. And then I check the positioning again. And once I'm happy with that, like if I need to make it longer, I will. If I need to push it higher or lower. But right now, I want to make this one just a bit more wider. I think it might suit this drawing. I think that looks kind of cute. And then I kind of just like, and then I kind of just draw a bump like this for the nostril. And I do that. Then I repeat it on the other side. Come on, camera. Don't be blurry. Come on, camera. Okay, you're back. Um, yeah, I just kind of like repeat it on the other side like this. And again, the way I draw noses, it does defer, but currently, like, as of now, the way I like to draw noses is I like to attach this and kind of create a bridge. That's how I'm doing it right now um, in my sketchbook. And I think it looks kind of cool, but I feel like my art style will just will keep on changing because that just happens every year. And then I just like to add a bit of shading here, just a bit, kind of smudge it out. And then just like add a line coming towards the nose like that yeah pretty much like that and again this might not look the same as my normal art style and that is because my art style is kind of changing which you guys might see that when i do a sketchbook tour if i do a sketchbook tour but again that's completely fine and now for the mouth i draw it differently each time Today, let's just have a really happy smiley face because smiley faces are cute. And let's just do this. So currently the way I'm doing it is I kind of just draw a line in between, kind of like that. Then I draw one line here, one line there. And then I either like add a bridge here and connect them like this, or I kind of just go ahead and do it in like one floor. Today, I think I will add a really small kind of line here and then join it together. I'm not even kidding. All my drawings are so different from each other. Like, I really don't see any kind of resemblance in terms of art style except for the eyes. But other than that, I think everything else is pretty different. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's kind of cute. And let's just draw a little dimple. Okay, loving this. And we can't forget the eyebrows. The eyebrows actually add so much to a face. Like... Believe it or not, the way you draw eyebrows can affect the entire look of the face. Like, if I draw happy eyebrows right now, she will look like a really nice, happy, sweet kind of person. But, like, if I drew, like, eyebrows going like this, like, really angry kind of eyebrows, but, like, with a smiley face, she's gonna look like some kind of evil person, which it's, like... And it's just, like, really amazing how eyebrows just have that power to completely, like, influence the emotion that a person's expression can convey. Like, 
I don't know, I think that's pretty crazy. Anyways, okay, that is that. Okay, now let's draw the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of create like this little fold here, and then we'll have the hair kind of flowing down. And by the way, I do have a like a tutorial style video on my channel of how I draw hair in case you guys wanted to check that out. Although my style has definitely changed, but I feel like if it might help, then I'll be happy. The hair that goes there. Um, okay, yeah. I think that is pretty much how I want it to look. How should I draw the hair today? I actually don't know. Should we just have it like going to one side? And like just like joining back on the side maybe? I haven't drawn something like that in quite a while. It would be a nice challenge. Okay, so we'll just kind of have it going like this. And then swoop, curly whirly. And then we'll have it coming down this side in the same way. I feel like that's a bit too close and kind of like that. Now, this is the part where I like to take a step back and look at my drawing from a new perspective, which in this case would be holding the book like this for me so I can actually see how the sketch looks, but for you guys, you can already see. And um, the thing is, sometimes when you're sitting at a desk that's facing this way, your drawing can be kind of like influenced by the way you're looking at it and suddenly when you look at it straight on you can see there are some kind of things that don't look right for example for me i can see how the hair here just i think it needs to be just a bit more lower and this is just the chance where you get to fix up those mistakes one of the things i do like to do is i like to sketch with a ballpoint pen mostly because it's inspired by drawing with waffles but also because i kind of just like how you kind of raise it and i kind of just helps you to learn and be more bold with how you like draw and everything but at the same time i do like pencils as well because you do have that freedom to erase and i don't know let me know in the comments which one do you guys like more do you like drawing and sketching with a ballpoint pen or do you like drawing and sketching with a pencil or a mechanical pencil let me know i'm actually quite interested to know anyways um yes this is how she's looking i mean i kind of feel like i should be adding more detail but I also should keep it simple for you guys at the same time. Should I add detail? I mean, I know you guys can't, I can't hear you responding, but um, let's add some detail at the end. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is how I draw a um, male kind of face. And the thing is, I'm not completely confident with my process for drawing male faces, but I still wanna give it a try and I wanna see if I can do it. Um, I was kind of debating on whether I should show you guys how I draw like a side profile of like this kind of face or how I draw a male face but I feel like I just wanted to try and experiment and try and draw a male face and just share my process with you guys but we'll see. I think it also might be a good idea for me to get a reference up but um, it's okay we'll work without one. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna try and follow the same process for this one too. Starting it off with a circle. I don't know if you guys can see the pencil lines I'm drawing, but the thing is I don't like to draw that dark. Um, I used to a lot, but now I kind of just like draw lightly and I kind of like it. So it's a bit hard for me to force myself to draw dark and then go back and erase everything. So I hope it's okay, I hope it's visible. Um, same kind of process, circle, line, line. Oh, I forgot to draw that line here, didn't I? Well, I mean, you can. If you want to just kind of fix the positioning of the eyes, feel free to draw a line like this and then draw the eyes following that line. And now kind of just plot the same process, doing this, doing that, connecting the chin, making the chin just a little bit wider, um, pushing this here, going back up and connecting it. Okay, and now I'm just going to go ahead and draw the neck like this. Let's have some shading going in the opposite direction this time. Again, we'll come back and add the details, don't worry. Um, and then we have the eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw two arches just to mark it out, okay? And now for the eyes, I kind of just do this and then I draw a line going like that. Hold on, let me just get you guys a bit more close so you can see what I'm doing. We've got the arch. And what I like to do is I like to go ahead and draw one line coming up, all the way up like this. Second line kind of going down, but in a bit more of like a straight kind of way and then and then this part just kind of comes down and it looks like this and then i just kind of go ahead and connect it like that anyways we'll do this one as well so all the way up and then down in a straight kind of way one line going down and then like this and that's pretty much how i'm currently doing it and then i just kind of draw the eyelid like this and then we'll have the eyes looking to the left. Why? Because why not? And time for the nose. 
So let's have like a circle here just to check where we want the nose to be positioned. And now the next step is to start drawing at the nose. So starting off with this and then kind of just joining it like that. Adding a bit more shading so we can kind of just see how the nose looks and how it kind of works. And then we can pretty much follow the same kind of process depending on what kind of shape we want the nose to have. If you want it to have a bit more like of a different kind of shape, then feel free just to add the shading um, as per the shape that you want it to have. Same thing applies with the female face, by the way. And then I like to just go ahead and join it back up. And then if I feel like I need to adjust anything, this is just the time to do that with the power of shading and an eraser. Ta-da! Looks a bit messy, but don't worry. Once we just kind of go back and define the features, it'll look just a bit more better and it'll just make a bit more sense as well. I also like to draw these little lines under the eyes as well, just because it adds that kind of effect. And now let's draw the mouth. This is the part that I'm still struggling with because I don't know how to draw a guy's mouth properly, but I guess it's just pretty much the same, right? So let's draw a smiley face as well. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm still learning, okay? Don't judge me. I'm just trying to share my process, even though I'm still learning, and yeah. <laughs> oh well. You know what? That's not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Um, and what else can I show you guys? I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, we, then we have the ears, then we have the eyebrows. Should we make him look a little bit evil? Like, let me just show you guys an example of what I was talking about before. So if I drew the eyebrows like this. Oh wow, okay, no, I'm not gonna attach the eyebrows to that. Hold on, if I drew it like this, can you guys see just how he looks? Like, does that make sense? Okay, now keep that in mind, just keep this entire look in mind, and I'll show you guys how he looks with like a different kind of eyebrow look. Okay, ready? Now if I did this, how does that look? Like, can you guys see the difference? Like, eyebrows are so, so powerful. Just don't underestimate the power of eyebrows. Like, seriously guys, they have the power to change a person's expression when it comes to drawing, so. Okay, that looks kind of cool, but I want to change it. And we'll just have it like kind of normal, kind of like happy. And here come the happy eyebrows. Ta-da! Nope, not yet. Three, two, one, ta-da! There we go, nice and happy. And now for the hair. Oh, I don't know what that is Let's figure something out. Just make it up along the way. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just kind of make it up and hope that everything works out in the end, even though it probably won't, but I don't know. Oh, we'll see. Doing whatever feels right. You know what? That's actually not too bad. I kind of like it. Okay, you know what? Okay, that is not bad. Regardless of how this turns out, I am proud that I did try to draw something. I did try to step out of my comfort zone, and I'm very happy that I did. Even though I am recording myself, and the world will probably see what I'm doing, it's fine. No pressure. Okay, and now let's do the check. Um, this part looks fine. This part just kind of feels like it's pushed that way. So let me show you guys how I saw this drawing the whole time I was creating it. So for me, sitting on my chair, I kind of saw it in this kind of angle, right? And it looked fine. But then I looked at it this way and I realized that everything was just kind of pushed up there. So let's try and fix that. Sorry, beautiful hair. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix you. Okay, that's not bad. And it's time for my favorite part and one of the most rewarding parts of this process, which is to go back and define the features and see how the drawing looks once everything's a bit more like kind of finalized. I mean, I do like the sketchy kind of look, but I also do want to finalize everything as well and just like, just add that extra sense of detail. So let's do that. And I'll be back in a second. Oh, maybe one more second. And after one more second, here we are. Here's what I did. So it's pretty much the same thing as before. The only difference is that this is a bit more defined and a bit more like kind of finalized in a way. So I'll show you guys what I did. I pretty much just went ahead and added some extra shading around these areas here. And I did the same thing here. And that's pretty much all I did. And I did want to show you guys this, but I feel like that would have made this video way, way too long. But if you guys do want to see a video on how I kind of like shade faces or something, let me know. And maybe I can make a part two to this. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And subscribe.